morning, everybody. I realized I didn't really say anything when I first got here this morning. I'm very tired. This is my life. Um, welcome to Happy Cakes. We are, it's a Sunday morning and I am getting ready for the day. Um, Ash asked if she could come in and film what it looks like to like open the shop every day. So welcome. This morning I have to bake about, I don't think I'm exaggerating. I'm gonna say around 600 cupcakes but we'll see where we end up <laughs> bye hi it's ashley from sweet dreams bake shop and welcome back to my channel that was my best friend rachel i'm sure if you guys have watched my channel for a while you've seen rachel a number of times on here so i am starting a new system this school year i'm going to be uploading fewer and far between however i will be uploading longer and more detailed videos so to start off here today rachel is going to do all of her baking so we had some cartons of eggs there that was that first thing that she was pouring in and you guys know I don't measure my vanilla and apparently neither does Rachel. So now we're pouring in that oil little by little, really making sure to mix all of those wet ingredients. And of course, when you're working in really large batches, it's super, super important to go slowly but steadily just to make sure that everything is getting well incorporated. And here we have our vanilla batter. Once all of those dry ingredients are in there, it is really important to whip up this batter. It's not like when you're working at home, you do have to mix it for a little bit of time just to make sure it's gonna end up nice and light and fluffy. I love to butter my pans, but obviously the more cost-effective and quicker way to do things is to use a non-stick cooking spray in all of her pans. Alrighty, that was one batch of vanilla. I'm gonna do another round of vanilla and then I think two rounds of chocolate and then a little bit of red velvet and then we'll get into decorating time. I know I gave you guys a really detailed look at Rachel's bakery a couple of weeks ago, but things have actually changed since then. So now she's made things even more efficient by having all of the cake batters and things like that being made up here. So then that way she doesn't have to walk them in and out of the back room. She can just come right here, place everything straight directly into the oven. And boy, does she have a lot of ovens going at once. For those of you that don't know, I used to work at Happy Cakes as well. Now I did work here before when Rachel did not own the shop, and so we did things very, very differently. Because I was a cake decorator at the shop, I very rarely actually baked the cupcakes. I did sometimes, and let me tell you, it was quite difficult. We had giant jugs of things, so it made things really, really challenging. Now I've come to learn that they actually buy things in smaller increments, but it's really being bought in the same amount. They're just in smaller containers, so they're easier to manage. And it's all the same pricing, which is very, very smart, and it's going to increase efficiency in the long run, because I cannot tell you how many times Times I dropped things because of the big container. At this point, Rachel is still all by herself getting all of this baking going. She's getting some minis done here and she's actually using a piping bag instead of a scoop. She is one of the few people that I know that does this. I personally need the scoop because I'm always afraid that I'm going to overfill the cupcakes. But again, since Rachel is the owner and she does this quite frequently, she knows exactly how much to fill it up and it's easier on her hands than having to use a scoop. The cupcakes bake up fairly quickly and they are larger cupcakes, but the ovens are quite efficient. So it's really just an endless cycle. I'm coming in the back room for the updates because I feel like it's quieter than being up by the ovens, but also the freezer's back here. So I don't know how good the audio quality is and I'm sorry because I know that's important in YouTube land. Anyways. I'm done the vanillas. I did about 250 regulars and then whatever, four trays of 24. So like just shy of 100, math, just shy of 100 minis. Um, and now I'm going to do chocolate. Here we go. I have tried a number of chocolate cake recipes. I am always on the lookout for a really, really good, solid, carvable chocolate cake. And I've got to tell you guys, there's really nothing that can beat Rachel's chocolate cake. It is so carvable, it has such a lovely crumb to it, and it tastes fantastic. A really nice, deep, chocolatey flavor. And I think it really comes from the quality that they use in their cake batter, which is a secret. I know a lot of you guys ask for the recipe, but that is the one thing that we cannot share on this channel. Both the vanilla and the chocolate and the eggless cake recipe are secret. And utilizing some of that previous vanilla batter, we are making some marble. 
And if you know anything about Rachel, she's obviously watching The Office as she's getting all of this baking done. Look at how beautifully those chocolate cupcakes bake up. Having been a former employee of Happy Cakes, I can tell you that it's taken a long time to really get this amount of consistency in the cupcakes. And they always taste fabulous and they taste the same every time. So with the arrival of another cake decorator and baker, this is Alia, and we know that once Alia arrives, it is 8 o'clock in the morning. I had a little bit of a late night, so we're getting to a late start, and I am so grateful that Rachel actually filmed all of that whole portion for me. So kind of her to share with me and to share with us. So she's continuing on with those red velvets, and I'm watching Alia get all of this buttercream done. Now, if you guys watched a video where I showed you how Rachel makes her buttercream, I mentioned that she uses a scoop. We've come to realize that one scoop actually equals one kilogram of icing sugar and the baking continues on and on and on and I gotta say I know I say it every time but I'm just so impressed with Rachel's speed and just her ability to be kind of on autopilot as she's creating all of these cupcakes and she does this every single morning I really really love the fact that happy cakes bakes everything fresh so then you know that every cupcake that you come in and purchase was freshly made that morning from scratch now, I was informed that normally there aren't two cake decorators in the morning. There's usually one, but this is a particularly busy time, so we have two in today. And how gorgeous are these fresh flowers? These are our customers' fresh flowers that were dropped off. I love it when customers drop off the most beautiful flowers. It just makes putting them on the cake that much more satisfying. I've shown you guys this technique before on how to cover up fresh flowers, but Alia has some more techniques that she's sharing with us today. So first you're gonna take that little piece of tin foil just to make sure that it's food safe. Then you take off all of the yucky petals, the petals that maybe are wilting a little bit, and then she does this thing that I've never ever done before, which is spread out the petals to make that flower look more full. And it's so beautiful, it just adds such a flair to your florals. I gotta say, this is one of the things that I love about my YouTube channel is I have learned so much just from watching and observing others in person. It's just really, really a treat to be able to learn how other people do things. I've been decorating cakes for over a decade, and I've said this before, guys, but really the learning is never, ever over. I keep learning new stuff that is super, super useful. So now what Ellie is doing is she's grabbing the end of a paintbrush, and she uses it to pierce the chocolate, because of course that is a chocolate drip on top, all of that pink is chocolate, and then easily she's able to stab in those flowers. And how beautiful does that look? Like I said, guys, the quality of your florals really, really makes a difference, especially when it comes to a naked cake like this, or I should say a semi-naked cake. So generally, the cakes that get done during the opening portion of a shift, well before the store is opened, are the cakes that are going to be picked up right at opening. And today, Happy Cakes hours are a little bit tight, actually. I don't remember the hours being this short, but it totally makes sense. So the opening hours for today are 12 to 3. Reason being is because Sundays are really not that busy. They're more for picking up cakes for events, but lately there have been more and more in-store cupcake orders as well. Finishing off the cake with a little bit of baby's breath, and Happy Cakes is really known for their character cakes, but they also put together really beautiful, simple cakes like this as well. And of course, your bakery can't function without thorough cleaning in between, but if you can believe it, we are still baking cupcakes. And I guess it makes sense because we're baking 500 cupcakes today. I say we, but it's really just me watching Rachel do all of this. All of the cupcakes are going to be transferred to these large trays because it obviously makes it a lot easier when bringing them back and forth. And we actually very rarely move those big baking trays. It's hard to wheel them in and out of the door, so they're more of just kind of a storage area. So time to talk about some shipment issues that have been happening. I'm sure we all know in 2020 it's been harder and harder to get certain ingredients, certain baking supplies, 
And unfortunately for Rachel this week, one of the things that she did not get in her shipment, though she ordered it, was icing sugar. And icing sugar is not cheap, especially when you don't buy it in bulk. So normally one of those bags can run you anywhere from about $3.50 to even up to $5 per bag. Luckily, these were on sale for two for $5, but it still drives up the price of the buttercream considerably. Considering, I think she needs about nine kilograms of icing sugar in each batch. This was a cake that was decorated earlier, well before I actually got to the shop, and now Red Velvet's finally going into the oven. This is a huge, huge top seller at the bakery. Now these cupcakes are actually going in the freezer. They're only going in there so we can quickly cool them so that they can get decorated for the orders of the day and also for the storefront. And here are some of our chocolate cakes. There's a bunch of six inches, quickly testing them and then putting them onto that rack to get cooled because they need to get decorated. Now what I love about coming here, like I mentioned, is I'm always learning some new things. So the bakery actually now has these special extra tall boxes with that really beautiful cellophane window at the top. These are for very specialty cakes. If you order signature cakes, you're going to get your standard cake boxes still. Okay, now finally we're all baked and we are ready to go. All 500 cupcakes baked. But now it's time for decorating. But before we do that, we're going to take a look at what Ali is doing. She's getting some naked cakes, or semi-naked cake, I should say, ready here. And I love that little trick. She's using a little bit of buttercream to cover up the seam of the cake board that shows. And this goes directly in the fridge, waiting on those fresh florals to come in. Now the next step in the opening process is to make sure that all of the orders are inside each box. And I like that the order form is taped right to the box as well so that we know exactly what is going into everything. Because sometimes there's different sprinkle types or different icing types for an original flavor that is always carried in store. So it's really, really important to make sure that we've got all of those details on there. Now, of course, when one person is doing this, this would obviously take longer. Luckily, we have Alia, who's also working on cakes as all of those cupcake orders are getting ready. So here she's working on a classic chocolate cake. I actually did a tutorial on my take on this. Now, this one is covered in chocolate buttercream, but I actually cover mine with chocolate ganache. So if you guys want to check out that tutorial, you can go ahead and see that in the right-hand corner. And of course, on each of those lovely swoops, we've got to add a generous portion of some dark chocolate flakes. I love 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 these dark chocolate flakes such a nice snap and it really kind of cuts through some of that sweetness as well because it's dark chocolate obviously Rachel's American buttercream is whipped up fresh every morning and then it is also whipped again individually for different colors and different flavorings so this is blue vanilla all of the vanilla is always either white or it's this classic kind of sky blue look and Alia has really really nailed the no crumb coat process I am still a work in progress she's already awesome at it and she's also super super quick just like Rachel is Alia has also started her own YouTube channel. She's already a major TikTok star, so I'll put all the information for her and Rachel down in the description box below. So there you saw a little legend for how the mini cupcake boxes are supposed to be set up. So these are ready-made minis, which basically means that they already come packaged like this, and people can just grab the whole package itself. Sometimes I believe there are individual minis made too, where you can buy them separately, but today we're just doing all of those little pre-packs and a good sprinkle on a signature cake. And Alia is super, super quick at doing this border. This whole kind of experience of filming has really taught me that I need to speed up some of my decorating processes. This is super, super fun. I love all the signature cakes. They're beautiful. They're simple. So when Rachel first showed me this, it kind of blew my mind a little bit because I remember part of my training for working at Happy Cakes was learning how to core the centers of the cake. And it was a little bit more complicated. I mean, not super complicated, but there was a little bit more involvement than this. But this makes total sense to me. It doesn't wreck the quality or the taste or anything. And it's just super, super efficient. And it's probably pretty satisfying for the person that gets to core them. Now, Happy Cakes was probably the first bakery that I had ever been to in the local area that I saw was actually filling up their cupcakes. I'm sure other bakeries did it too, but it was less commonplace than it is now. Filled cupcakes are slightly more expensive, obviously because there's a filling going into it, but it is so well worth it, and it really, really helps keep that cupcake nice and moist. 
And there is a ton of fillings that we use here at the bakery. One of my personal favorites is the caramel, but we also have lemon, raspberry, strawberry, and of course, there's chocolate ganache, which is definitely another one of my favorites. I personally really love rich flavors like that. I'm not so much of a fruity person, but sometimes I can really get in the mood for it, like with these apple pie flavored ones. Delicious, fresh chopped up apples in there. Yum. This is my least favorite filling, but it doesn't mean it's not good for those people that do like cheesecake. We all just know, I'm not a huge cheesecake fan, but this again is a huge seller right next to the red velvet. And then there's also this cookie dough flavor, so there's actual little bits of cookie dough stuffed in the center. And um, I didn't know you could get these giant bags of Nutella, delicious, and way easier than putting it in from the jar into a piping bag. I love that it's already in the bag. Now finally, once everything is filled, we can get to piping. So at the bakery, they use two basic piping tips. They use either a rounded tip, a large rounded tip, I should say, and that's utilized for a lot of their white cupcakes, so things that are covered with white frosting. And then we also use a star tip, the classic 1M star tip. And that's generally utilized for our colored frostings. So this one right here that Rachel is working on is the Caramelicious. It's a classic. It's been here since I started working at Happy Cakes. And it's honestly one of my favorites. I know it's my sister's favorite. And in this point in my filming, I honestly kind of felt like I was going back and forth and back and forth because Rachel and Alia were just working together without even communicating to one another. I think they just really, really understand the rhythm of the bakery and the rhythm of how opening works so it was basically like one person would pipe all the frosting and then the other person would put on all of the toppings and I will say that in this bakery the air conditioning is incredibly high so the buttercream sets up really really quickly and if you guys have watched any of my past American buttercream tutorials with Rachel she generally likes to make her frostings fairly thick so that will cause your buttercream to set up a little bit more quickly which means you got to get those sprinkles and whatever other toppings on there before it forms a slight slight crust it still is really really luscious and delicious when you bite into it and this was definitely one of the most satisfying jobs for me when I was working at the bakery getting to dip all of this in the coconut and we were actually trained by the original owner to really pack on the coconut but now we do things a little bit differently so we kind of lightly dust the top while still being firm and still making sure that you're getting really really good coverage and of course this is unsweetened coconut so that it's not too too overly sweet Chocolate sprinkle is also one of those original flavors. Everybody seems to love it. It's definitely one of those things that when you only have a few flavors left, they're able to choose in the box. I found a lot of customers would go for this, especially if they were buying it for somebody that they weren't quite sure what they wanted. It's just a great standby. And who doesn't love just plain vanilla frosting sometimes on a delicious and moist cupcake? So I know this is going to sound really silly, but when I was trained to ice cupcakes here, we would kind of like switch bags and then we'd switch back and forth and we'd kind of finish one section at a time. Now the way Rachel trains her staff, it obviously is a lot more efficient and it makes way more sense because now what they do is they take one icing flavor and they make sure to cover every single thing that needs that flavor. Same thing goes for all of the fillings and the sprinkles and the toppings so that they're not constantly having to switch back and forth between finding all of those different things. This next flavor here is, I don't actually remember what the name of it is called, but I think it looks like a cosmic brownie in the end. They put on these delicious little brownie pieces and then it gets covered with some of those rainbow sprinkles too. This is a flavor that we never ever did before, so this is one of those new additions and Rachel has made a lot of new additions since she started owning the bakery. This one here is banana split. It looks so beautiful in the end. And of course, it needs a maraschino cherry on top. Now, a funny story about maraschino cherries and happy cakes. So when I was working at the bakery, we had this little container that would kind of help get rid of some of that sugar syrup that surrounds the maraschino cherry. So you kind of lift it up and then it lets everything drip off. Well, I thought that that was a handle, not just a little lift. So I lifted it up and maraschino cherries flew everywhere. So every time I see maraschino cherries at the bakery, that's what I think of. 
This right here is orange creamsicle. Again, an adorable flavor, and there's going to be a little straw that's going to go in here. My apologies, guys, for the sound quality difference. I had to switch rooms because my laptop needed to get plugged in. Anyway, back to our opening session here. So we're putting in all of these straws, and how adorable does that look? It looks like a little creamsicle milkshake. I love that there's the addition of the straw. We never had that before, so it's really, really cute. This here is the strawberry milkshake, which is filled with our strawberry filling, and then we've got strawberry buttercream on top. I really want to kind of take note of the energy in the room during opening. So some of the videos that I filmed in past at Happy Cakes have been really chaotic and it's busy and the phone's ringing, but because this is before opening and well before opening, it's kind of zen in here and it's really, really nice. And I could see how an opening shift could be relaxing. I mean, I remember when I used to ice the cupcakes by myself, you hear the music go on and it's really, really relaxing because you're kind of by yourself or you're with a friend getting every Everything ready to go and it also just looks so satisfying and so beautiful so here we have our cotton candy one notice there she didn't put anything in saran wrap and then roll it she's really really about efficiency so she just kind of placed it directly in that bag and it's perfectly half and half swirled and then she puts on these little cotton candy bits as well Fun fact, nine times out of 10, Rachel is going to choose a cotton candy flavor. There have been many times where we've made trips to DQ to get the cotton candy blizzard. And some more beautiful quins going on top of some more cupcakes. I was shocked at this point that we still had more cupcakes to go because these ladies, both Alia and Rachel, work in super, super fast. All right, so we've got that blueberry topping there. And again, another new flavor. And we've got the Becky here where we're putting on all of these fondant hearts all over. I love that they take the time to have all of these fondant hearts pre-cut. It's just that one little extra step that makes the cupcake look extra special. And I will say that they do take note to brush off some of that extra cornstarch on those hearts because of course, for me, I get rid of my cornstarch by steaming, but you can't steam something like that. So they just kind of brush it off and it totally works. So I know I keep revisiting my time at the bakery, but one of the smells that really, really makes me think of Happy Cakes is the strawberry buttercream. The strawberry buttercream is made with a very, very special paste and it smells so, so good. Think of like the best, most freshest strawberries you've ever had combined with that classic strawberry candy flavor and that's exactly what it smells like. Now, I personally love the chocolate mint flavor. I know it's one of those things that isn't for everybody, but I feel like when you have a group of people, you're gonna find somebody that likes that flavor. And here we have the pistachio raspberry. This one gets topped with pistachios. I love that. I love nuts and things like that on cupcakes. Really, really helps to cut through that sweetness and it adds a really nice crunch. Here we have whipping up our cream cheese frosting. We really make sure to give this a good whip so it stays nice and white. And we place that on. Now finally, it is time to put all of the chocolate drizzles on there. I love this one. It looks like an ice cream sundae once this is all done. And to kind of make sure that everything is evenly dispersed, she is using a piping bag. And I love watching the drizzle. It's just so, so satisfying. It's also just so satisfying how quickly this all gets done. And mm, that Nutella one is definitely one of my favorites. I don't think I've had that one in a few months. So maybe I will have to request that Rachel make some for me in the future. And here we're going back to that Cosmic Brownie one. It also gets a solid drizzle on top. And like I had mentioned before, this banana split one ends up looking so, so beautiful. I just love the look of tall frosting. Now, truth be told, I do like to eat cupcakes that have a little less frosting, but I'm also a sucker for the look. This one here that she's working on is the Franklin. It's also going to be topped with some nuts and it has caramel and chocolate drizzle. I love this shot because I think it is so telling of staff that work well together. They're just doing everything they can to get things done efficiently. Now I'm sure every bakery has different protocols and things that they do in the mornings. And I thought I knew what Happy Cakes did in the mornings based on what I used to do when I did an opening shift. But this is so completely, completely different. If we ever had this many cupcakes to do, it was a really, really big deal and we would come in 
even earlier than we normally would have. But the fact that this is just a regular everyday shift is really, really mind blowing for me. But it was also really, really fun to see and to look at. And no, we're still not quite done yet. We've got our fresh blueberries here that we're going to be putting on to our cupcakes. And this is the blueberry lemon cupcake, I believe. So it has a lemon curd filling and then it has that blueberry buttercream on top with the fresh blueberries as well. And we're quickly almost reaching the finishing end for these mini cupcakes. So we're just finishing off these red velvet with a generous dollop of that cream cheese frosting, a little bit of cream cheese frosting on the chocolate cheesecake, and of course, those beautiful hearts that were made earlier. And to be honest, with all of the cupcake decorating and the custom cake decorating, I'm not really sure when those hearts get done, but I'm sure there will be more videos in future where I show you guys where they do little, little things like that that just add that something extra special to their product. I also want to mention that this chocolate cheesecake here has seemed to have taken on different forms. I've seen it done in different ways, all the same flavor profiles, but it's looked different over the years. And I really, really love the way that it is styled now. All right, so finally, all of those cupcake orders are finished. They're in their boxes. They're getting that full double check over to make sure that all of the specifications that are written on those order forms have followed suit. And all of our storefront cupcakes are ready. It is so, so important to have those cases nice and full. I've mentioned in other videos where we used to actually cut down considerably on the amount of cupcakes that we would have in the storefront, but now actually making the cases fuller helps sell a lot more cupcakes and also we just have a lot of foot traffic now coming in just to get the cupcakes no custom order just in-store pickup now you might think at this point that opening is done, but it's not quite done because of course our cupcakes can't just be in the back here. We need to put them up at the front. And it's actually kind of more of a process to move things around I find. I always find that that I get that sense of relief when things are finished, but then I realize, oh, I still have to package things up. And that can sometimes take a lot longer than you think. So we have all of these little signs here on these pedestals so that the customers can read really, really clearly what is inside each flavor. And then we go ahead and we place them on. I remember there was a really, really specific way before of how to place these onto the tray. Now it seems just a lot more straightforward. You make two rows of the cupcakes and you place them on. Also, we forgot to film that carrot cake there, but those carrot cakes are also baked up fresh every day as well. And they get a nice generous dose of cream cheese frosting on them. And I will say that carrot cake is one of those kind of flavors that has a following. I remember when I worked at the bakery, people would actually come in during different seasons and ask if we had carrot cake specifically because it is that well loved. And especially with the fall season now, people are going to be all about that carrot cake and those cinnamony flavors. And I can't get through a Happy Cakes video without mentioning that they were Food Network champions on the Big Bake, and the Becky Cupcake is the flavor that they actually won with. They did a cake that was insane. It was a moving cake, and they had to have moving parts on the cake. It's really, really cool. Go and check out their episode. I'm sure it's still up somewhere on the Food Network. So I know a lot of my fellow cake decorators and my subscribers often mention that wherever they live, it's really, really hot. They have issues with kind of crumb coating or making sure that their frosting is staying on their cake because it can be so warm. I also had a few issues like that, even though we have air conditioning in the bakery and I have air conditioning at home, but I just wanted to mention that now it's all of a sudden turned to fall here. So it's very, very cold. It's been raining. There's a reason why they call it rain Coover because it's always raining here. So no such problem with that anymore. So I think my best guesstimation of how long it actually took just to transfer the cupcakes to the trays was a solid 15 to 20 minutes or so. And here is the sign for the customers just to let them know how much those cupcakes are. And this is the view that they get of all of these lovely cupcakes. So they can see all of those descriptions. And if they're in a little bit of a rush or they want something a little bit smaller, they can go ahead and grab some of these mini pre-packs. And that finally concludes a typical opening at Happy Cakes in Surrey. So let's get to the subscriber submission of the day. This comes from at Sweet Willie's 
cakes. I absolutely love this cake. What really drew me in was the edible lace. So be sure to go and drop them a comment, drop them a like, and follow them. And if you want your cake featured on this channel, be sure to follow me at SD Bake Shop on Instagram, where you can either tag me in a photo or send me a photo, and it could be any dessert or any level. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!